A lawyer needs a nimble mind, but I wouldn't think that there are many members of the legal profession who are also qualified in both Indian classical and Bollywood dance. Eurasia Ramrachia has all this and a whole lot more on her CV. And if you've ever wondered what it means to be versatile, you're about to find out. People bring cities to life, but it's so easy to zip from one end to the other without really interacting with anyone. This means that we miss some fascinating individuals. Like Eurasia Ramrachia, who's known to her colleagues as a quick-thinking, young corporate legal counsel. That's her professional persona, but she's a woman of many aspects and abilities. And we tasked our guest reporter, Fadeen Mia, to help us form a more detailed picture. Eurasia, so nice to finally meet you. Wonderful to meet you as well, Fadeen. Now, these are incredible offices, but I feel like I'm underdressed. Don't worry, I think I'm overdressed for the both of us. But okay. don't stress, you're in my space, so feel comfortable. Perfect. Do you want to come through? I'd love to. Great. Eurasia's roots lead back to Mauritius, and she represented the Indian Ocean Island Republic as Miss India Mauritius, which also earned her the pageant's Miss Photogenic title. Eurasia, tell me where did it all start? Well, Valine, after school, um, I decided to pursue an LLB at the University of KwaZulu-Natal. I come from a family of lawyers, so that choice was quite easy. After that, I decided to move to Sandton, um, Johannesburg. I got a job at a very prestigious law firm. My time there was fantastic. I was exposed to so many different facets of law. I worked in the banking and finance department. I worked in the mergers acquisitions department. Did some time as, as an associate in the employment team before going back to my home, which was litigation. Recently, I've just moved over to Barclays as the legal counsel, just wanting to see a little more of the business side of law, the more commercial side. You've studied a BA and an LLB together. That must have been tough. When I went to university, my father told me, you're going to have to do law, and that's the end of the story. And uh, I kind of jimmied it so that I could follow my passion, which was drama and performance, hand in hand with the law. So I did my three years BA, which had the drama and performance degree in it, as, along with some electives for law, and then finished off my postgrad. While it was very time consuming, it's two things that I'm very, very passionate about. And then I know about this final year you did a stint in an institute in Mumbai. That must have been fun. I went to Bombay and stayed in Juhu and I joined the Actor Prepares Institute, which is run by Sri Anupam Kher in Bombay. It's a wonderful institute where you taught his sort of talents in acting as well as in dance. And I spent just over a month there. I took a little flat in Bandra and uh, traveled with the tuk-tuk, you know, to campus and back and learned some amazing, amazing things about Indian cinema. So where did the dance come in? This is the best time for you to ask that. I'm actually, five minutes late for my dance class. So if you want to join me, I could tell you down there. I'd love to. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. A strong foundation in Kathak and Bollywood styles, combined with advanced training with leading choreographers, enabled Eurasia to deliver polished performances on stage at a number of international events, including one attended by Prime Minister Manmohan Singh and former President Thabo Mbeki. She has also appeared in popular stage shows such as the Chalo Cinema series and Sangharsh. And now she's made space in a corporate career to share her twin passions for dance and fitness with her students in Josie. It's a style called Boomba, combining Bollywood moves with Latin American Zumba energy. Five minutes water break. Go, go. Eurasia, that looks like so much fun. What is this Boomba? It's an eclectic mix of Bollywood, Bangra, as well as some wonderful Zumba, hip hop, cardiovascular movements. So you're working out your body, you're toning all the muscles, you're losing weight, you're sweating it out, but you're not on the treadmill. So it's a fun way to lose weight, it's a fun way to get fit. Okay, so we're done here, where to next? No, that was just five minutes. My guys need to be worked to the bone, and I think you need to join me. Uh, I'm not exactly dressed for it. Fadeen, this is Bollywood and Boomba. I think you're fine, anything goes. Guys, five minutes is up. Come on, come on. This is not a tea party. Let's go jump. And in two bhangra, cross. And cross, cross your hands. One, two, three. And bhangra, one. And two, cross your hands. One, two, three. And in one, two, three. To the left. The one you can do it. In. Nicely done, Lynn. Nicely done. Okay, guys, I think Take a break. We might need a medic in the back. <laughs> Fadeen, you okay? I'm good. I'm good. You want to do it one more time? No, no, no. I think uh, this is much harder than it looks. <laughs> so, where the passion for dance, where did it all come from? Fadeen, I've been dancing from a very, very young age. 
I started dancing at the age of four under the Nateshwar Dance Company and it's there that I learned Kathak, folk dances of India as well as some Bollywood. And then when I went to university, I learned some contemporary under the Flatfoot Dance Company. But why specifically Bollywood and Kathak? I am a huge fan of the Indian film industry. I loved the wonderful way that actresses like Madhubala, I mean, the type of Kathak that they do, the mujras, the facial expression, the use of the body, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. And my passion just grew from there. Nuresha, I'm afraid to ask, but what's next? I thought we'd run this class again, actually. What else do you have for me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Fadin, no, I think you might need some sustenance. Thank you. So I've got the best place in mind. It's my favorite restaurant. If you'd like to join me for lunch. I'd love to do that. Fantastic. Let's go. In addition to holding the Miss India Mauritius title, Eurasia was selected to represent the Deccan Chargers at the Miss Bollywood IPL pageant. And she has also modeled garments created by internationally renowned designer Tarun Tahiliani in India. Although now based in South Africa, she hasn't lost her love for Mauritius or its cuisine. This is an amazing place. It's such an unassuming place. It's a hidden gem in Johannesburg. Hello. Oh, wow. It's amazing. Something called Bombay Crush. You have the same drink in Mauritius, and in Mauritius it's called Aluda. Um, it's very, very similar in that you can get different flavors like pistachio or rose. Uh, we use the agar agar jelly and uh, the same seeds. Well, Mauritian dishes are known for their coconut flavor dishes, so I would suggest you should try for our very unique and authentic coconut seafood dish, which is added with some very typical spices with some nice and flavor tamarind sauce. Vibin, coconut, tamarind. Seafood, that is a Mauritian's dream, so I'd love to try it. So all this talk of Mauritius, tell me what is life like on the island? Apart from the fact that it's beautiful, what I love about it is that it's such a diverse place. We've got so many cultures, it's much like South Africa in that sense where it's a melting pot of cultures. Do you know Mauritius actually has a female president? We're the third African country to have a female president. So I mean that kind of progression, it's fantastic. Oh, there we go. Oh. Wow, look at this. Uh, this. See, this is why it's my favorite restaurant in Johannesburg. Can you okay, see? I believe you. This is beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Son. Thank Enjoy you. your meal. I'm sold. Absolutely amazing. But before you tuck in, what are your words of wisdom to the viewers out there? My life is testament to the fact that if there is something that you're passionate about and you really want to go for it, you will make time for it and you'll make it happen. <laughs>